Hey people, Pranks Man here. Uh, next order of business. Hopefully it's going to be the last. Uh, a little modification to the... <laughs> Somebody's racing a car down the street. Uh, next order of business is uh, modifying the PCV valve. It's spitting oil out at it when it's topping out, so I do a little modification to where it keeps the oil inside the motor. You don't have to add a catch can to catch the oil that it's spitting out. This is a correct fix. Adding a catch can or a drain line out of the motor is a band-aid. This is the right fix. I'll show you how to the valve works and how to modify it to keep the engine oil inside the engine where it needs to be. Okay. If you look close you can see the evidence of the oil coming out of there is trained down and out of the frame. I gotta clean the frame a little better. So first order of business is getting to the valve so this has to come off and the exhaust has to come off. I'll do that off camera. Everybody knows how to do that. It's just simple, simple stuff to do. And then uh, on to the next step. Okay, I got the PC, the PCV valve off, and see a little hole in there. That's how the, the valve springs get oiled. Now when the in order to fix this problem, you got to understand what's happening first. Uh, when the piston goes up and down, you're changing the space inside the crankcase to where it's blowing and it's sucking. And when that's happening, while the engine's running, it's flinging oil, you get an oil mist caught in the air while it's blowing and sucking. That's how the valves get lubed and how the springs get lubed. In order for the air to go through this, it's got to exit the engine, which is what this piece does. That's your PCV valve. It's, an, it's a one-way check valve with an oil-air separator. There is a top, there is a bottom. You see the two little holes here. That's the bottom. This is your check valve. This is the hose that vents to your carburetor or, or just vents out. That's where the oil's spitting out because as this engine is blowing and sucking the air with the oil mix in with it, it's going through here and it's so much because I modified the, the governor to go faster, it's overworking and it, this thing is filling up with oil but still moving the air so when it fills up to a point where it reaches the hose it's gonna blow it out so that's the problem the fix is to modify this this part right here to work better and to do that you have to make these two drain back holes that when the engine sucks and this is closed since this is a one-way check valve for the air to exit but not go back into the motor this is closed so what it's going to be sucking back in is the oil and these two little holes are not big enough for the extra rpm this will these two little holes work fine for what the governor was set at at the factory but i modified it for it to to spin faster so these two little holes are not big enough I need to make these holes either bigger or maybe drill a couple more holes in the bottom of this in specific spots to make it work better okay first order of business is to take this apart when you drill the holes you're going to leave metal shavings and you got to clean those metal shavings out otherwise they'll get sucked back into the motor and it'll, it'll screw up the motor so you got to take this thing apart separate the two halves and there's baffling in there you need to know where the baffling is in order to know where to drill the holes 
so these little tabs need to be bent over these four little tabs right here to split apart the case I'm just going to use a pair of needle nose to do that and a screwdriver of course to start the bend just pry it up pry it up Okay, instead of baffling, it's just got a, a little sponge in there for the oil air separator. <clears throat> and you got the, this is your one way check valve. So it enters through here, goes through the sponge, separates the oil and the air. The oil stays at the bottom. Where's the bottom? There's the bottom. It's got the two little holes. So this is going to be the bottom. And then on this part, the air is going to be on the top. So that's why this is on the top. And the air exits. So to modify this thing, these two little holes, I just got to make bigger. Let me see them. Yeah, see two little holes on the bottom here? Right there, and right there. Those got to be made bigger. I'm going to drill those out, and uh, I'll do that off camera. Okay, I'm back. Here's the modified part. Those are the two stock holes. Let's see, I'll point to them right here and right here. I added three more on the bottom. <clears throat> this is the half that's inside the motor. When it sucks, it's going to suck the oil through these holes. Okay, that's pretty much it. Throw it back together. Make sure you put sealant on it around here. So it don't leak. Notice how I'm putting it together too. Two holes are on the bottom. Well, five holes now. They're all deburred, so no shavings will get in the motor. And then the airline is on top. Just bend it back.
And if you notice too, I didn't put the sealant on there because the gasket's still good. Nice tight fit around there. So it shouldn't leak. Okay, now I just got to put it back on the motor. And that's the modification. No catch can. Okay, I got the PCV valve back on the motor. All I have to do is finish putting it back together and that's the fix. Okay, if you like this kind of tech, subscribe to the channel. I'll be doing more. Uh, as for the mini bike, I don't know if I'll be doing another test run to see if it works, but fuck it flies. Uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks, man. Bye.